Okay, so this time let's talk about slope of a line. So basically, slope of a line describes the behavior of a line. So when we say behavior, behavior of a line means that how fast does the line moves forward as it goes upward or how fast does a line goes upward as it moves forward so to get the slope of a line we use the following formula so we have m equals y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 so to get the slope of a line we need to use this formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 this is also known as m is equal to rise over run so meaning the behavior the behavior of the line defines by how fast a line rise up as it moves forward or it defines how fast it moves forward as the line goes upward okay so let's have an example of this so let's say we have these points we have 1 for x and 3 for y and another point 2 for x and 4 for y to get the slope of this line given these points we will substitute these numbers into this formula so following this formula you have to write here y sub 2 and y sub 2 that is the 4 so that's right here m is equals to 4 y sub 1 this is our y sub 1 then over x sub 2 this is our x sub 2 and then x sub 1 so to compute this this will give us a result of m is equals to 4 minus 3 that is 1 over 1 so this is now the slope of the given points here so this slope describes that the point here or the points here as it travel upward one step it moves one step forward because these are all positive numbers so that is why positive one it goes upward as it moves one step upward then it also moves one step forward okay so that's that's the slope of these given points or of this line let's say we have for the first point we have 2 and 3 for the second point we have 3 and negative 3 and 2 okay so let's use the formula of our slope so let's substitute these are the y's y sub 2 y sub 1 so y sub 2 is 2 minus y sub 1 is 3 over x sub 2 is negative 3 minus x sub 1 is 2 okay this is the definition of our m or the slope and then let's perform the necessary operation so 2 minus 3 this is negative 1 negative 3 minus 2 this is negative 5 okay so there you go so our m is negative 1 over negative 5 so as it moves backward 5 steps it moves 
downward one step okay this is the rise and this is the run okay so if you're going to explain this slope it means that as your your line moves backward five steps it moves downward one step okay because we have negative okay so there you go and then let's have a different example So let's say we were given this kind of problem we're in the first point is given but for the second point the slope was the given so how will you solve this problem okay. So basically when we say our slope is 1, M is a slope, no? When we say slope is 1, this means that our M is 1 over 1 because we have by size over run. No? So it is equal to have M 1 over 1. It is similar to M is equal to 1. Okay. Okay, just keep that in mind. So to solve this, the best way to solve this is to plot this in a graph. How do we plot this in a graph? Okay. Let's write a small graph for our x and y. So let's say we have x is 0 and y is 3, 1, 2, and 3. And then we stated here that we have a 0 for x and then we stated here that y is 3 so we have here our point. Okay. And then it is also stated in our slope that we move, we rise one step because we have one, and then we run one step. So we need to go higher one, and then we need to, this is our one, this is our two, this is our three, and then we need to, sorry. Let me repeat my explanation here. So, x is 0, so x is around here. And 3 is right here. And then the definition of our slope is 1. So, meaning we have to move one step higher. So, there we go. This is now our position. And then we need to move forward higher because that is our rise over run move forward higher I uh, move forward so this will be positioned around here so this is now our slope or our line okay let's have another example so let's say we have negative 3 and 2 and then our slope is 4 then how can we plot this okay again just the same with the previous example let's draw our graph here okay we have x negative 3 so this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And then for y we have 1 and then 2. 
So it is stated here that our x is negative 3. So this is our negative 3. And our y is 2. So this is our 2. So meaning our first point will be around somewhere here. Okay, that is their intersection. And then for our slope, it is stated here that we have to rise four steps. So four steps. So we have to continue writing some tick marks here. So this is three, four, five. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so four. So because we need to, to, to go up four steps, no? Starting from two, we count four steps. One, two, three, four. So this is now where our location for the second point. And then we need to run one step because this is basically or four over one. So one step. So one step here. Let me uh, write here a positive one. So there you go. We have positive one here. So let's write it. Let me rewrite this again. Positive one. So from here, we'll move one step and then the second point will be around here. Okay, there you go. Okay, negative two. And then a negative three and then for y is positive two and then we move upward four I'm sorry it's not this is incorrect okay I can I'll repeat so our first point is negative three for y, for x and then positive two for y so that is why we have this point here and then we need to move four step upward because our slope defines here with a value of four so let's count starting from two we, we count one two three four and then we move one step forward so from negative three from here negative three we will move one step so it will be point it will point us to negative two there you go so one step so this is now our line Okay. All right. So this means that the points from our slope is six for y and then negative two for x. Okay. So let's have another example. So let's say our slope is uh, our first point is negative one three and then our slope is m is equals to negative five over three okay let's create a graph for this okay x y so our x is negative one then y is positive 3 and then the first point will be located at negative 1 for x positive, positive 3 for y so this is our first point and now for our slope it means that we need to go down 5 steps after going down 5, five steps we need to move forward 3 steps ok so let's count move five steps downward because it is a negative number one two three four and then somewhere here we have a negative two and then we move forward three times so this is one two three we need to move four times we are already on negative two because we have negative five negative five starting from here we count like five times five steps downward because that is negative one two three 
we are now at 0 4 5 okay then let's count forward three times one we are now at zero two three so this is now our second point so that is why our line will look like this okay so that's how you define slope let's have a different example Okay, so okay, so for our last example, let's take this problem. Let's say we have y is equals to 3x plus 3. Okay, so this example we can apply the intercept method. We can put 0 for x so that 3 will be cancelled out. What will remain for y is just 3. Okay, so we can do that. So let's say 3 place a place zero for x and then this will go away okay let me rewrite this again so y is equal to three this will be zero and y contain three okay so meaning if we're going to plug this two three so y is three and then x is zero so this means that the first point is around here now where can we place the second point okay there's a technique if we apply intercept method this 3x here this is called the slope Let me fix that one. This is now called slope. Okay. And this is the y intercept. And this is y intercept okay. 3x is the slope and 3 is the y intercept so we applied intercept method that is why we have also to define where is where a slope is and where y intercept is and this is how we do it 3x is the slope and then 3 is the y intercept because when we substitute 0 for x so this 3 goes away so what we are left with here is just 3 and now for the second point we have to use the slope so it is stated here that the slope is 3 so we need to go higher 3 steps so let's continue writing this negative 4 negative 5 and then a negative um, tick marks for 4, tick marks for 5, and then another tick mark for 6. So we need to go 3 steps higher, no? starting from this point. 1, 2, 3. And then we need to move forward. 1. So this is... One. So 3. Because our slope is 3, we need to count upward 3 times. 1, 2, 3. And then there's always an invisible over one whenever we deal with whole number in slope so that's why we need to run at the right one step one okay so there you go this is now the second point so first point second point and then we can now connect these two lines with our uh we can now connect these two points with our line that's it okay that's all for this video and then See you on the next lesson.